On October 31st, 1517, an Augustinian monk named Martin Luther fundamentally changed how we would interact with God. The modern world is different because of what happened on October the 31st. Here at PRS, obviously scripture is our highest value and the way that we approach it has a lot to do with what Martin Luther did then and there. So let me tell you a bit about that. Martin Luther, this Augustinian monk, was a professor of biblical studies at the newly created Wittenberg University and he became convinced that there were certain practices in the church which were not consistent with scripture. And so he put this together as an academic treatise that was later called the 95 Theses. He nailed this to the door of the Wittenberg Castle Church, which was a common thing people did. This is where announcements were posted. But it was a challenge to the church authorities to justify the practices of the selling of indulgences. Now what this was, was someone could literally buy his or her way out of purgatory. People weren't really scared of hell because they believed that if Christ had forgiven them and the priest had granted them indulgence that they were going to heaven, but they were really scared about purgatory and they had to buy their way out of this place and so it became a tremendous fundraiser for the church. In fact, when St. Peter's burned down, the church even expanded this practice to raise money to, to rebuild St. Peter's. This bothered Luther terribly that people were paying a financial price for the forgiveness of their sins. He chose October 31st because this was All Hallows Eve. November 1st and 2nd within the High Church tradition is when All Souls Day and All Saints Day were celebrated. In other words, this is when you pray to saints and this is when you pray for the dead to help move them from purgatory into heaven. This bothered Luther's conscience. He said, we cannot be teaching things that are not in the Bible. And his challenge was not readily accepted by the church. In fact, ultimately Luther was excommunicated from the church, although he never sought to, to separate. He wanted to be bring reform from within. Uh, later he was brought to the Diet of Worms and he was also uh, facing great political pressure and he would have been killed were it not for political protection from some of the German princes. Luther ultimately articulated the Reformation theology in five points that we call the sola points. Sola fide, by faith alone. Sola gratia, through grace are we saved through faith. Sola Christo, it's only the work of Christ that justifies us. Sola Deo Gloria, all that we do must be for the glory of God. And then ultimately, Sola Scriptura. And it was on that final point that Luther really changed history because scripture and not church tradition, we become the focal point of how we do what we do and why we do what we do. And so as we read scripture together today, I hope you'll remember uh, this guy named Martin Luther and this faith tradition that we all share. And let's make, make that our same focus today, Sola Scriptura.